passionate about music. So you say you actually never came out, really? I never felt that I had to come out because it never seemed like a, a big issue for me. Obviously not to yourself. Yeah. yeah. But you must have told people. Like your parents. You must have told your parents. I did tell my parents eventually because I took um, um, girlfriends um, home. So when I was at Crew and Alsager, I had my um, first girlfriends there, proper, proper, okay. as, as, as for real. And... Uh, she used to come home and see my parents, and obviously we'd share a room. Uh, my parents are very cool about that sort of thing. They are totally unshockable yeah. by anything, that's the sort of people they are. Um, and I told them eventually, and they just kind of smiled sweetly. And it was like, well, you know, don't talk to me about that, love. We don't know now about that round here. <laughs> so is that what, is that what they said? That kind of reaction, but nevertheless, were absolutely fine about it but were quite happy with what I was doing because it didn't matter to them. Right. They just felt that they couldn't, they couldn't help me with it because it's something they didn't know about, you know, and I don't, right, okay. I don't blame them at all. You know, they're wonderful parents. It was just a, a funny reaction where I've got friends whose parents were like, oh, my God, how can I help you? Giving them leaflets, sending them to youth clubs. Oh, no, you must go to experience. I didn't have any of that. And I just found it quite funny, really. But I think I guess I was to a certain degree, quite comfortable in my own skin and quite comfortable with what I was. So I didn't really feel the need to make a massive deal out of it. And I'm, and I'm really glad they didn't make a big deal out of it either. But you're also, you, you also said that you didn't know necessarily what the label of being a lesbian was mm. until you were sort of 18. So even though it was natural to you, yeah, there must have been a, a, a sort of a stage where you actually... You said, well, I like girls. To, to yeah. who did you say that to first? Do, can you remember, or was there somebody, or...? Probably every girl that I was <laughs> trying to share a bed with. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I, I remember them all. I think when I was when I was five, I remember it quite clearly. You know, when I was five, you know, I was sharing a bed with you know my best friend across the road, and we were quite happily lying naked together and playing with each other. We didn't even think twice about it yeah, at all. Yeah, and the yeah. same with all of my all my girlfriends that I had throughout school. I was always very close with, and I think I was very lucky in that respect. That not one of those girls throughout school and throughout teenage years ever said. Will you stop looking at me? <laughs> we, we, you know, but I always got invited round to their house. We always shared rooms together. We always showered together. So there was never any. There was never any process of coming. Uh, there was no process of coming out. So you just no, were you. I was me, and they were them, and they, they never questioned, and their parents never questioned what we were doing. We would walk around holding hands. We would go to the bathroom together, and we would just do everything together. And it was never ever questioned and never labelled. It's quite amazing, isn't it? Thinking about that now. Yeah, it, it, it is quite amazing. I sound like I'm talking utter rubbish, don't I? But that is exactly the way it was. I was never labelled and never, never pushed the side for being like I was. <laughs> Which, you know, that's great because um, I'm just sort of trying to think about because one of the heroes is, is your coming out hero, but <laughs> you don't, don't have one. No, I just I think my hero would have to be the girls that actually allowed me to share a bed with them and allowed me to shout with them and thought it was the most natural thing in the world. And they, you know, as, as far as I'm aware, I know a couple of them are, are lesbians too now because we keep in touch. And uh, yeah, I, I guess I think I've just very lucky met the right people. So um, fell in with the right crowd. Fell in with the right crowd from a very very early age. So yeah, Claire Ball, Vicky Thurloway. <laughs> Hello, Claire Debs. and Vicky. Ah, oh, Debs. <laughs> and Debs, thank you very much for making it all so easy for me. Oh, that's fantastic. So okay, so so it was sort of a, a process of a. A very natural process over a very long period of time. Yeah, I, I, that's just the most. Death, that is the best way to describe it. Passionate about music.